then. The great majority of the oil is actually where it should be, which is in the customised collection tray. And the puppy pad is catching any of the little drip drip drips that come down because you'll need space under there to get your hand on to put the sump plug back in once you've cleaned it off and oiled the threads, la 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 la. So, um, what I've done now is I've got the replacement filter here, which is actually a Crosslands filter, whether you can read that or not, L10222PS. Okay, and that going to go on there. You see the thread sticking out? Go a bit closer if I can. There, it goes on there. Now you lightly, lightly oil the uh, rubber seal around the edge and some instructions say fill the filter with oil. Well you can do that if you want and all that's going to happen is it's going to piss out the filter when you turn it up on its side to screw it onto the block. So that's sitting there ready to be threaded on and this is a container of 1040 oil and there's 5 litres in there. The bongo uses 4.5. Now don't be under any idea that you'll be able to pour 4.5 litres of oil into your engine easily. What you want to do is, when your wife's not looking, is to get her Pyrex bowl and mark a big black mark at 500ml and put the half litre that's usually in there in there for when you fill the engine up and you can pour it back in again. So hopefully in this one-handed adventure world here it goes. If at any stage the thread starts to stick you unscrew it, okay? You do not try and force it because that is a big bad expensive mistake so there we go I'm doing that up now by virtue of the fact that there's loads of oil slopping around etc etc that's quite slippery so if you have some paper towel or kitchen roll or something handy wipe the filter off and then give it a good hand tight turn there's no sense in over tightening it. If you had to give it up with a torque wrench, they wouldn't put a rubber seal on it. So that's there. Uh, just clean off underneath it and check when you start the engine up once you put the oil in that it's not leaking. And check that the sump plug's not leaking likewise. And just for purposes of completion, this is the oil hole. It's got an oil filter, an oil can picture on it just to help you on your way okay and it's a bit of a bastard to pour into so again you might want to use the pyrex jug that never gets used in the garage in the garage again and that's really really it to be perfectly frank just check the sump plug down there check that that's not leaking when you start it up check the oil filter's not leaking and just wipe up anything you spill and remember when you start it up the oil pressure light will go on for a tiny little time until the uh, oil galleries are all full but it shouldn't stay on if it stays on turn the engine off and uh, seek professional help as well as marriage guidance um, if she sees that 